as we talk about our thoughts and speculations of the upcoming game and the trailers that we just witnessed this week, which yes, is amazing. Like the, the major bomb that Nintendo or Game Freak oh just God. sort of dropped on us. I didn't even know about it until like late night yesterday. Yeah. A type so, null man. So type oh, null. <laughs> we'll get to that right now. I like this name. Type. Type null. Null. Okay, well, so you're so, so, you're so eager to talk My about My name it right is now. Human George. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, go ahead. Type null. Is the synthetic Pokemon. It's uh, six foot three. It's beef taller than, than me. Oh it's my god! It's taller than both of us. Damn. And weighs more than both of us. And it has a baby battle armor. Okay, so this Pokemon wearing a mask has been dubbed Null, meaning nothing. The shape of its front and hind legs are clearly different. The reason is that Type Null was constructed to synthesize the strengths of various Pokemon, enabling it to adapt to any situation. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying is. It should have had the adaptability. Ability instead of battle armor. Instead of battle armor. Hey, maybe it has another form. Maybe it has. Maybe it has an hidden ability. Maybe it's like that min minior. Meteorite. Mi the, the meteorite one. The Medi the one you knock its armor off. Min meteorite. Is it meteorite? Meteorite. I'm pretty sure it's meteor. Mini, as it's small. Meteor. Meteor and mini meteor. Mini and then when it evolves, it'll probably be like mighty or something like that. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's only obvious. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Well, I'm, but I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, you can knock its face down and BAM! But that's not what Battle Armor does. I know, but I mean... I get it, I get it, 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 it doesn't get it hit by crits. It has hidden ability. It doesn't, it doesn't get hit by crit, by critical. Which it's is too good to get hit by crit. Which, which, at, which is fine, because that, that, I guess that makes sense, I guess. Look at that monstrosity, dude. Because the way it doesn't have any weakness, even though it's weak to fighting, but with battle armor, it's like, technically has no weakness, because it box criticals. Anyways. The mask fitted to type Null's head is a piece of equipment designed to control its latent powers. It's extremely heavy, so it also serves to hinder type Null's agility. So that means he's fast. He should be fast, but... I'm assuming the helmet is like 200 pounds, something like that. So well, like, knock so off the helmet and he's 65 pounds. <laughs> if only you can do that, but uh, let's go, dude. To complete a certain mission, of solid goodness just going for you. Yes. So this is like the very interesting quote right here towards the end. To complete a certain mission, there was a need of Pokemon powerful enough to rival those Pokemon often spoken of in mythology. So this Pokemon rivals like legendary Pokemon. Like Lugia? Like Lugia, like ho uh, like Palkia, Dialga, Arceus, Darkrai, Mewtwo. Does it rival Litten? Absolutely. I bet not. <laughs> I bet it doesn't rival Litten. <laughs> you or Litten? Uh-uh. Pokemon's so lit. It's so lit. And, and it has the ability, Blaze. I wonder what Litten's hidden ability is going to be. I really want to know. It would be very interesting. What would like fast fire or something like that? Maybe. Well, if, if the... I want to say Reckless. If it's going to be like a fighting wrestling type, mm -hmm. maybe Reckless. Kind of like Pig Knight. Oh, Pig, yeah, Embor has it. Or Embor. Embor. Not Pig Knight. But uh, I know I mean, wrestling. What would be wrestling? No Guard? That would be interesting. A No Guard Litten? I mean, whatever it's involved involved this be evolution but yeah um type no it's really interesting pokemon it's dude show the the, the ultra beast i want to see the ultra beast the ultra beast put, put up the ultra beast <laughs> i'm not i'm not done talking about who yeah. cares about type <laughs> no i do he's a chimera i mean yeah i, I was about to like specific like okay like the gray thing right there like on the run's neck uh-huh that look a lot like, like a du chicken like duck snore have you seen Dustin before? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Dude. But I, I don't think it would be. It looks like Dust Snorth. Uh, can, can I type? No. Nope. Ha ha ha. Oh, no. It won't let you do okay, it. Fine. Dusk. Duck Snore. Yeah. See. It looks. Mm. It looks a lot like it. Oh, right there. Sort of, except it's thicker, obviously. Hmm. But it does look like it to me. And what is like the body shape like an Absol? You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, and and I'm seeing it, so technically, I mean, it's a ghost 
So it's, it's nothing, right? It means nothing, right? It means nothing. So I see that fin in the back, which is water. Obviously. And then. And then the piece and the those feet in the front are like well, I want to like say a, grass type. It's like a bug or grass type. Like that's what I can see. Grass type, right? Bug or grass. We'll just go with grass. Okay. First for what I'm thinking. Okay. That grass type nullifies water, because you know they're weak. Yes. So something there has to be a fire type, since the water will have to balance out the fire. So are you? So saying it's like a it's it's like they're all so balancing each other out, making nothing, because they nothing they all cancel each other making out. Making it normal. Making it normal. So yes. Yeah. So, so being normal, and then with what you're saying right now with dust or being a ghost type, since they're immune, both immune to each other, cancels out. I guess you would yes. say. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting thought there. And now that the hat, the, that I mean, the helmet steel with fire, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the the top piece on top. Mm -hmm. Top piece on top. The top piece on it top. It re it resembles a little bit like RCS head. It does, doesn't it? It does, hmm. yes. Not just the top part, but like also the symbol around around the mask as well. That resembles a lot of it too. Well, we'll find out sooner this or later. It's such a very interesting Pokemon, and I, I don't know. I just want to see how it's going to change the meta, dude. I mean, it's a normal type of battle armor, okay. Yes. Big whoop, but I mean, I need to see its stats. Its ability, it's one ability, but like also its move pull as well. I would yeah. imagine it can learn like almost like any move. It'll probably be like a Smeargle, probably. It can learn like almost any. Or Mew. Any Mew, or Mew. Mew can learn all the moves, yeah. I guess, yeah. I think, I think, uh, I'll keep it on my yeah. sights. I want to, I want to see like, it. What if like Mew's DNA is in his Pokemon? So that way it can transform no. as well. I think Mew, Mew's what way if, out of the picture you, now. Okay, well. I mean, but, you know, hey, you never know. Yes. So I want to talk about this Pokemon because this Pokemon is probably the pseudo legendary. Uh, Jang Mo. Jang Mo. -o. Mo. -o. Jang Mo. -o. Scaly Pokemon. It's scaly. Oh. Yes, it's a dragon type. Bulletproof and soundproof with ability. What? Yes. Hold on. <laughs> no, people, people. I've I've been hearing crap about this Pokemon saying like its ability is okay. I guess. No. Soundproof is broken as hell because there goes Soviet Hyper Voice. Pixel Hyper Voice is gone. There uh -huh. goes Gardevoir's hyper hyper voice. Mm -hmm. There goes Boomburst. There goes just Armin voices. There goes Sing. There mm. goes like all these different moves, the sound based moves that Django doesn't get affected by. The, the hyper, the pixel hyper voice is a big one. Especially when you're a dragon. Yeah. Especially when you're a dragon, yes. <clears throat> because most people carry the pixel hyper voice, mm -hmm. but they don't carry the dazzling gleam on on Sylvia. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I, and so I there see, goes. So there, there yeah, goes that is actually, in, in, you know, in my perspective, of seeing that, because I don't see Shadow Ball, Bullet Seed, none of those, those uh, Sludge Bomb, none of those anymore. I mean, as much. Well, I mean, as I see Hyper Voice. Well, I mean, Bulletproof does also blocks Focus Blast. No, no. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The, 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 but you don't see that as much. Yeah. As you see, like a Fairy type Hyper Voice. You know? Exactly. I Especially the ones who run the, the, bigger the fairies that run the meta. So. Or like you know, Gardevoir or Sylveon, you know, and those they have pixelate. The pixel, yes. So and the boom burst too. I think boom that, that actually. So I really, I really like that this Pokemon has soundproof because. But this, is, this is that a hidden ability? They didn't specify. No, it, no, it's, it's just a secondary ability. Mm -hmm. Then they'll have it hidden. Okay. They have yes. On top of that, it might have a hidden ability, which could probably make it better. And it will have. Um. Wonder Guard, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> not too much. <laughs> Something proof. It'll be so, damage proof. <laughs> so I'm reading the description right now. All right, read and it. And I'm thinking that this Pokemon might evolve into, might have a secondary typing. I think. I, I, think, I thought when I saw it, I thought it was the one that evolved into that grandpa, the the grandpa Pokemon. Really? It, it doesn't really look. Anything. Doesn't look it doesn't nothing look, like it, but it I mean, when I just first saw it, that's my first impression. When okay, I saw it. Well. But I mean, now, now that I look at it more, I'm like, okay. no way. This one's scaly, the other one is... This one looks badass. Yes. And the fact that that one is like dragon normal type, and this is just pure dragon. Yeah. So. No, this one, I think this is going to evolve to like a dragon steel. Because it says scaly Pokemon. Actually, I'm thinking dragon fighting because of what... <laughs> it's very warrior-like. Alright, read it out. Jing... Jing... Momo, Jing... Momo <laughs> has the pride of a warrior. Although it remains humble about its capabilities, it is in pursuit to become stronger. It never neglects its training. Okay. Like, uh... A fighter, like, like a, a fighter. boxer, yeah. Exactly. 
Kikuchi Momo uses the scales on his head for both offense and defense. Mm -hmm. It never turns to the back to his enemies. May the trainer sees the behavior and takes it as proof that Jigmo is a valiant Pokemon. Jigmo gather it in harsh locales like canyons where no other people or Pokemon are around to live together as they train. So the fact that this Pokemon is dedicated to training, hmm. kind of like Bagon is dedicated to trying to fly, trying to fly, <laughs> means that eventually this Pokemon is have a secondary typing. And I'm thinking that that typing is going to be Dragon Fighting, which is quad weakness to Fairy, but because of Boiler uh, Soundproof, <laughs> that doesn't matter. It's actually making a viable Pokemon. It's a very viable Pokemon. Interesting. Yes. I would like to see this. Nice one, Chris. Nice, nice I assumption. Hope, I hope that. I mean. That, that's the impression I got out of it anyway when I was reading this. No, I think I think you're you're spot on, dude. But I can also see a dragon steel attack as well. Hmm. I can totally see that. Cause, yeah, because I, I I was saying by by the scales that it's going, you know. It's gonna be more like a knight kind yes. of thing. Now if it now if it is a dragon steel type, mm -hmm. Dialga, it, Dialga Jr. But not only that, but this is another one of those Pokemon where you can choose into weakness, essentially. Because bulletproof blocks Focus Blast. Focus Blast, yes. And if that's a Steel type, then it can block one of the strongest fighting type in the game. Which is okay, focus Bulletproof, blast. okay. Bulletproof. But what about Soundproof? And Soundproof... Because he's resistant to oh, Fairy since well, he's I Steel. We'll, I guess yeah. it'll do like no more damage, I guess. Yeah. Neutral. Neutral damage, I guess. Well, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, next Pokemon. This is just a little fun Pokemon, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Raticate is a freaking Ratatouille 2.0 here. Look at because them cheeks, man. Yes. Especially in the description right here. Well, we'll get to that right now. Because urban areas are their main habitat, their diet is higher in calories than ordinary Raticates. Wow. As a result, they have become hefty. Hefty, like that word. Very hefty. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm assuming this Pokemon is probably slower, but it'll have more bulk to it. If they change the stats, then yeah. Absolutely, they can change your stats. I'm assuming mm -hmm. they are. Alola Radicate prefers to eat only fresh fruits and high class ingredients. Wow. Yes. There are rumors that a certain top notch French Restaurant. restaurant <laughs> takes advantage of Lola Radicate's taste buds by bringing it along with choosing ingredients to buy and having a taste test new dishes. See, it's Ratatouille 2.0. Okay. That's okay. literally Ratatouille. Okay. It That's is. Literally Ratatouille. The only difference is it's not, it's not in Kalos. <laughs> Not only difference. A learning radicate continually stockpile huge amounts of food in their nests. They mostly prefer to send out a learning radicate to gather food, or they themselves stay home in their nest and just eat. Kind of like my last one. Who do you send out? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really send out anybody. I just sort of go. I, I just need to eat. I need to eat, yeah. Be with eating, we should probably go somewhere eat right now. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Just focus on the video. <laughs> <laughs> a learning Radicate is a totem Pokemon of the trial that takes place in Verdant Cavern on Mealy Mealy Island in Pokemon Mood. It summons Radicate to help it confront those who take on the trial. So, Pokemon Sun is gonna have like um, Gumshoe. And oh. We're gonna have a learning Radicate. Interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I, I really like to have an option. Like, if it's during the day, you have Gumshoe. If during the night, then you have, like, a real Eradicate for, for, for both versions. One thing, though, that I want to mention, actually, right here, is, like, I find the whole 12-hour separation thing weird. Why? I don't know. I'm going to play, like, well, since, you know, we decided that I'm playing Sun, you're playing Moon. Yes. Like, you're going to be playing during the nighttime, while I'm playing during the day. Yes. But at the same time. But at the same time. Yes. So you're going to be a night owl. Pretty much. During the day. Yes. You lucky bastard. I wish I could do I that. I told you to get Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, but no. Well, I'm probably going to get both, but I'm going to do my, like, my play on Sun. I'm going to get both, too. On Sun, though, for sure. Yeah, I'm going to play Pokemon Moon. So, um, Gumshoe appears in the turn of Okay, we went over that. Yeah. Now, uh, before we get to the... Uh, alone, uh, oh, we got all the alone. Yes. Uh, we're gonna go to the where, to the region of this. There you go. You there you go. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's talk about the Ultra Beast because this is a huge news that just Nintendo just dropped towards the end, Ultra and it's just sort of like beasts. Like, oh, and then like, oh, by the way, we have Ultra Beast here, and that's about it. 
Oh yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah in, in the trailer, in the movie trailer, it's like, oh, here, look at this, Ultra Beast, and that's about it. That's all we're gonna tell you. Like, I see it, I imagine a girl inside of that thing, dude. Like, like there's like, it's just like she's just invisible, but you can kind of see like like the that stuff's just her, the hair in her hat. See, like a lot of people are saying that like, this is based on Lily. Who's Lily? Lily. Lily. That's not Lily. No, Lily. What? Uh, what? This team Aether. Oh, where's the characters? What, where are the characters? <laughs> um, it's awkward. I'm actually interested. Like, wait, scroll down again. Uh-huh. Uh, up, 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 up. Those guys are back. The Dexio and the... Oh, yes. These people. I love, I'm surprised a lot of people didn't recognize them. They are yeah. from Pokemon X, Pokemon Y. Yes. They were from that game. And they're helping you with Zygarde. And they're helping you um, guy the chorus and yes. Salus from Zygarde. So obviously Zygarde's, Zygarde's be... Zygarde's gonna be mine! So obviously Zygarde's gonna be a, a huge part of this. That pretty much 100% confirms it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, 100%. Well, I mean, duh. I mean, they showed his final form. Yes. The people of a lot. Like, yeah, it keeps going down. Okay, so... There's, there she is. There's Lily. So the uncanny resemblance of her and the Ultra Beast number one are strikingly similar. The hair, the legs, the hats. The only difference is that this is obviously human, and the other one is obviously something we don't what know if, about. What if it came from a portal? It came from a portal, yes. An alternate dimension, a parallel dimension. Exactly. And, and where that human, has to, that has to be human, it humans are Pokemon, and Pokemon are humans. Yes. Did you just make that up right now? Uh, yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't knock it down. So, shy, man. okay. Another. So, I told you um, before the before we started the video. Maybe they make an Ultra Beast about how. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if they do. Like my words, parallel okay. universe. Parallel universe, okay. Illuminati. No, it's really <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Lily mm -hmm. and the two new characters that have been introduced in the in the new. in the, in the recent trailer, I mm -hmm. guess. Lucima, Lucimine, Lus Lus Lusami Lusamine? Lusamine, yeah. Lusamine. They look very similar. Lusamine and Lily look very similar. Same hair, same, even same color eyes. Hmm. And I'm not sure we can show it here now. I'm not sure. But I think they're just like a Team Rocket. That's kind of like just where is, or here it is. And Gladian has the same color hair with the same color eyes. So you're saying they're brothers or something? Or I'm saying they're I'm saying they're probably related. Okay. Yeah. They're probably related. And this guy has a, a type, or a type, type null. That's his Pokemon. Type null is his Pokemon? Type null is his Pokemon. For now, until yes. I pick it. No. <laughs> Stop that. Now, when I was reading about Team Ether, mm -hmm. or the Ether Foundation, mm -hmm. I'm getting like very not good vibes from it. No, I think there's just a front and. I think, no, I think, no. Like, like they say, they like to the, protect the Pokemon, they put them in, in this, I guess, habitat, whatever. The paradise, they eat the paradise. They eat the yeah. paradise, yes. But they also say that they, um, they do, they do research on the Ultra Beasts and all that. What if mm. they also do research on Pokemon? And combining, like, different Pokemon to each other. Wasn't well, Ether, like, like... And what if, like... Because Ether, Ether, that's another thing, Ether. Yeah. Ether or Aether, you can say it both ways, they're both right. Mm -hmm. According to one of the videos I'm gonna post, I'll probably post it on the description, um, a YouTuber by the name of Logston, Logan, yeah. whatever, he made like really interesting videos. They're kind of long, but they're, they're very interesting. You should go watch them if you can. But um, he talks about how Sun and Moon has a very large, um, I guess, a theme around alchemy. alchemy. And it's very probably there. Probably there. Probably. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So, alchemy is a very big thing in Sun and Moon, obviously. From what it looks like. And the fact that we got a Pokemon by the name of Type No, which is a Chimera, which is, um, I guess, a specimen of alchemy, because you make him out of alchemy. Mm -hmm. What if Ether is 
doing these illegal, forbidden kind of things where they get Pokemon from the paradise. They do research on them, and that's how they made Type Null. And the fact that Gladian is if their family, that's why he has Type Null because they were they were originally his Pokemon that they experimented on, but now they made like three or four Pokemon into one. That's a that's a big leap there, Woody. That's a big big jump, but. Uh, I can see it. You can see it. I can see it. I can totally see it, like, it, like Game Freak doing this. Because, like, pretty much, like, after this trailer, everything we knew about Pokemon is just literally thrown out the window. These Z moves, these, um. They haven't new... said anything about Megas, dude. They haven't said anything they haven't about Megas. They haven't said anything, yeah, but I'm assuming it's probably there. They probably still have Megas. For sure. But no new Megas. Maybe not new Megas, but... It's already September, and they haven't even, like... The game comes out in November, in just two more months. Yeah, by now we should have gotten, like, the full roster of Pokemon, and and at least seen the starter evolution. Oh, no, they're, they're being very secretive right now. I know. What, what is, with oh, all this stuff. 20th anniversary... And the, they introduce uh, these Ultra Beasts, which is just, like, another puzzle in this oh game. Oh, my God. I think that uh, Sunny Moon is going to be the best Pokemon game, hands down. No Whoa. question that. Let's hope. It's going no, I already know for a fact it's gonna be the best. The best gameplay, the best story, the best maybe not the best Pokemon, because I'm kind of like the sandcastle. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure about that. Um, I know which Pokemon would do my first team when they when they release these new Pokemon. Litin? No. Oh but uh, what is it? The Sangast? Sangast. Sangeist. Sangeist or whatever? We'll put him in my team. Uh, of Just course, to spite you. Just to spite me. <laughs> well, I'm gonna use a uh, special water move on you. That way, the ability <laughs> doesn't do crap. Wait, what is his ability? Uh, sound compaction. Oh yeah. So yeah. It, it it raises its defense. It doubles its defense when it gets by water move. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, you can't move afterwards. Hmm. You can't move afterwards. No, I'm saying you you just you just double your defenses. But what I'm saying is like, water moves are pretty much almost almost exclusively special. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that doesn't really matter too much. I mean, I just Aqua Jet. It's a physical water Waterfall. move. Waterfall. Waterfall is a physical water move. Uh, but the thing is, Skull is a very huge move. It's being used about like every single Pokemon. Oh well, yeah, I mean, because it's Skull. Is, yeah, it's, yeah, Skull is just Skull. It's because it's Skull. Skull. It's Skull, dude. It's a lot better than Surf. Way better well, than yeah, because it has a higher probability of getting. You could burn something. That's exactly. Like, you, it's actually better to burn them than to hit both Pokemon. Because the burning just makes that Pokemon useless. Every physical hitter. So. You have cuts. Yeah, so. I'd rather get the burn than get damage on both Pokemon. So, yeah. Oh, and another uh, fun little thing that they added they added Pokemon Snap. How do you feel about that? I hate it. What? Not looking forward to that. Are you? You're. I'm not looking forward. You're. To you're, that. you're. You're pulling my leg. Why would no? You're, you're, you're pulling my leg. No, it's not. No. You're pulling my leg. That's right not now. cool, man. Like, my leg's being pulled. Yeah, I'm okay. Look, I'm physically pulling your leg right now. <laughs> there you go. No, I don't, like, you don't like Pokemon. Like go, it's, I think it's on cool features. Cool features. You go there. Two, Twelve, one, two okay. hours apart. Okay. Final Pokey Finder, is this feature? what it is? Is that what it is? I think, yeah, here it is. And then you take a picture with it. Do you take It's Pokemon Snap. Everyone wanted Pokemon Snap 2 on the Wii U. Yeah, on the Wii U, e not on the DS. Everyone everyone and their mother wanted Pokemon Snap. No. <laughs> yes. Well, and I'm really happy that we, we're getting it here in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Well, my mother did not want Pokemon Snap. My mother wanted just a regular old Pokemon game. <laughs> yeah. That's what she wanted. Oops. But I did see that you could see Dragonite. You, I saw yes. the Dragonite. So are there, are there gonna be wild Dragonite for the first time? Oh, <gasps> wild Dragonite! Wild Dragonite oh for God. the first time. Well, maybe they. You I can mean, find you, all I mean, the wild Pokemon. Like maybe all Pokemon wild. Maybe you can. You know, you can find Dratini's and Dragonairs and Argon So Silver, I think, and Black and White, I think. Yeah, you can find Gengars in, in the wild too. Yeah. But not a full pseudo legendary Dragonite. 
or Metagross. Or Metagross. Or Hydreigon. Or Hydreigon. Or Gudra. Oh yes, you can, you, you can find Hydreigon. What? Where? Yeah, in, in Auras, you can find Hydreigon. Oh, am I or, with an X, or with an X and Y. Why well, am I barely hearing about this now? Yes, you can find a water hydragon in Victory Road. Oh, yeah, when they, they fly in, huh? Huh? They fly in. They huh? fly. You fly? Uh, when you're in oh, Victory yes, Road, yes, yes, they, they kind of yeah, like, if you're like right on the edge, they just kind of like fly. Yes. Or the shadow. But uh, I found my first hydragon outside, though. Like, I found outside. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, outside. Yes. When you're out, because I know there's ones where they drop on you. Yeah. Inside the caves, but when you're outside and just like this little waterfall or whatever. They just like swoop in and yeah, they swoop in and attack you. Yes, now so I yes, you can find the wild hydragons. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. It's interesting. Why hydragon? This hydragon's awesome, dude. Hydragon is awesome. Yes. Yes. It's the was it? What's the devastation Pokemon? The I forgot what hydragon. Brutal, 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 brutal. Something, something broke one. But it can't learn nasty. Bro. Something for being brutal. If you can learn math, if you can learn math plot, I mean, it would be oh my god, <laughs> it would be destructive. It would be broken. Oh my god, I would win with that all the time, all the time. I'm still waiting for my mega flagon. Not gonna happen, bro. I'm waiting for my mega flagon. Not gonna happen. Mega flagon with dragon dance. I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> not gonna happen. Guard time with dragon dance. You can learn dragon dance. I know, but I'm trying to think about it. Too OP. That'll be broken. Can you imagine? No, that'll be broken. That would be, I mean, be too I mean, much. I mean, Dragonite can have Dragon Dance. Yeah, and it has multi scale, and it's it's like balanced. Like Dragonite's balanced. Dragonite's balanced. It's balanced. But if you give Garchomp Dragon Dance, it is not balanced. It is, I mean, it is too OP. It is too much. And then with Rough Skin, too. With Rough Skin, yeah. yeah or Sun Veil. That thing's gonna be just like, no. No, Garchomp should not get Dragon Dance. I, I, I vote it. There you go. Okay. I don't know. But what if, what if what if like King is gone, he has Dragon Dance, and even like a Mega King is gone, so he can Dragon Dance twice because of the ability. Can it do that? Can it do setup moves twice? I don't know. I, I think it only does damage moves twice. It only damage moves. Because well, wait. What? The only thing you use King is gone for is Power Up Punch, which is a Sword <laughs> Dance that sword does damage. Dance. Yes, but um. Or like a parental bond? Yeah, but 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 Boon. Yeah, uh, boon -ied. Boon, parental bond. Go to... Ability. There um, you go. Wikipedia. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Damaging moves. Parent Does not affect... Again. Okay, so... Only for attacking moves. Only for attacking moves. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and there's um... A low in... <laughs> there's a lone Pokemon, there's a low in Dr. The Professor Oak, yeah. Apparently. Apparently. I think this pretty much sums up that a lot of Pokemon is exclusively. Exclusively? Exclusively? Kanto Pokemon. Because every alone version we've seen has, has been Kanto. Yeah, I think that's what it's gonna be. Wow. Which is interesting. To say the least. Until Gen 8 when they start doing. Why haven't they done anything with the Johto Pokemon? That's the thing that I just don't understand. Why not the Johto Pokemon? Because dude? no one loves Johto. Oh man, I love Johto, <laughs> but. Okay. I want a Mega Typhlosion. Mega Typhlosion. Yes. Maybe in Pokemon Platinum. Platinum Perfection. When they make a, uh, another. Pla Platinum Perfection. T what? You don't tell me you heard rumors that there's gonna be a Platinum game. Absolutely. There's not. There's not. Any, I yes. don't. I don't think there's. Any. Yes. I mean, it is a cash and it's gonna And it's gonna be just Pokemon Platinum, only in one game. They're not gonna do the doubles anymore. According to Loxton, of course. Oh my god, you're basing it off that video. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's been enough for today. Seriously, go check out the channel. It's really awesome what yes. he has to say. I bet he doesn't even know we're plugging him right now. Absolutely not. He's gonna get like a guaranteed like two subscribers from <laughs> Yeah, if so. If if that much. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I think that's about it for today. Um, do you have anything else to add from the trailer? No, not really. Not really? Just the differences between Japanese and the, and the UK. Version. Yeah, like, why did the Japanese trailer the, get the portal? The portal. better, like, the whole cutscene up, but not just that, but, like, a better, more organized. 
Because it's trailer. Japan, dude. But why? 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 Can, why? Why can't it be like the same trailer, just translated into English? Because Americans have a low, like a very short attention span. You know what? I think I bet you they're about the same length too. Well, you'll do that on your own time, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> you'll figure that out on your own time. Okay, well that's about enough for today. <laughs> Again, for the third and final time. It's always when we do these little talks that we always take forever to. to yeah, it's because I don't. I don't know how to end it. Just say, hey. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. But I just said it. Well, you can't tell me what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section what you think. What you think these, these what's going to happen in Sun and Moon. You know, hit us up. Chat us up, you know. Uh, hit, 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 hit Charisma Studios up on, on Twitter. Tell us what you think is going to happen. And you know what? We'll probably message, and you're, you know what? You're most likely right, because Chris is going on about these theories. So like Moon is going to be the best Pokemon game. Hands down. Uh, honestly, I think so, too. Hands down. Because again, it seems like... And Auras was pretty good, too. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm over the whole gym, gym Elite Four thing, and I think a new type of game would be... Just be a fresh experience. Yes. Well, anyways... Thank you so much for watching. Chris? Have a great, wonderful, fantastic day. Bye. Take care. I wasn't recording. Kidding. Oh my god. Why <laughs> oh, you always do this to me? <laughs>